Now let's go again to south of Italy. We have next speaker from Campania region, Mrs. Fortuna Gentile. She is the coordinator of Project System of Action for Investment Attractions, Sviluppa Campania SPA. Signora Gentile, a lei. Hello, good morning. I'm Fortuna Gentile from Sviluppo Campania, the investment promotion agency of Campania region. So I'm going to show you why to, why to invest in Campania region. Campania is the largest region in southern Italy with a population of 5,800,000 inhabitants. Naples is one of the top three metropolitan areas in Italy. We have a young population with a median age three years younger than in the rest of Italy. Our gross domestic product is 6% of the Italy's one. 12 billion euro are from export. Next, please. Access to market is guaranteed from a transport infrastructure that connects the Campania to the rest of Europe and the Mediterranean areas. We have north-south motorways and railways for an easy access to the north of Europe, France, Switzerland, Germany and Austria. And a port ranked the sixth in Italy for container traffic with connection to the Mediterranean North and South America, Turkey, India, and China. Next, please. Jobs placement have increased over the last years. More than uh, 240,000 jobs is in manufacturing sector. 100,000 jobs in professional, scientific, and technical services supporting the industry. It means plus 11.5% over the period 2014 to 2019 versus plus 8% in Italy. 22,000 uh, 22, uh, jobs, sorry, a full-time equivalent in research and development. It means plus 50% over the years, the years from 2013 from to 2018 versus plus 40% in Italy. We also can count uh, uh, 48,000 students in science fields like engineering, mathematics, physics, and chemistry. Next, please. In this slide, we can see on the left side the list of the main regional cluster and on the right, the global leaders present in Campania. The most particular are automotive, where we can find FCA Stellantis, Magna, Denson, Johnson Control. Aerospace and Space, where we can have Gevio, Leonardo, MDBA. Rail, where we can have Itachi Rail. Energy and Environment, where we can have Enel, for example. Chemicals and Pharmaceuticals, where we can have Novartis. Food and beverage sector, where we can find Nestlé, Coca-Cola, Heineken, and so on. Fashion and textile, where we can have Carpisa, Quito, Marinella. Next, please. What makes us competitive are the costs of labor, which is 14% lower than in the rest of Italy, and also the affordable cost of lands and the real estate for industrial use. In Campania, you can find generous financial and tax incentives available in the region for investment in manufacturing, research and develop, development. Sorry. We have the highest level of incentives in manufacturing in Western Europe. For large group, is up to 25% of the total investment for machinery, industrial equipment, land, land and business, building up to 35% for medium business and up to 45% for small business. So we have a special economic zone with simplified administrative settlement procedures. Next, please. 
In, this, uh, in the last year, we have had some foreign direct investment. This is a list of the most important companies that have invested in Campania region. Under each name, you can read the manufacturing sector, the money invested, the jobs created, and the city where they implemented it. For example, Gevio Aerospace has invested 20 million and created Next, please. Thank you for your attention. If you would like to have additional inform information, you can contact us at following email address or phone number. Have a nice day. Thank you. Grazie, signora Gentile. Mi permetti di dire che lei ha un bellissimo nome, Fortuna Gentile from Campania region. Now let's go to another beautiful region, which is Emilia Romagna. We have Mr. Ruben Sacerdoti there, waiting for us. He is the head of the attraction Hello. and internalization services for Emilia Romagna Regional Government. Ruben Sacerdoti, welcome. Hello, oh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is Ruben Sacerdoti. We try to provide you an overview of the investment opportunity to find in the region. Uh, uh, why to in in Romania? Uh, uh, Emilia is the sort of uh, smart manufacturing region of Italy. We hosted at the moment 1,000 manufacturing entities, uh, 30,000 are exposed in a system in production chain, excellence it's around 1,000 1, of major corporates that are world leaders in precision mechanics, packaging, automotive, fashion, and ceramic. The reproduction system has invested over the last 10 in digital industry transformation at the production level and the logistics organization. This allowed Emilia Romagna to be identified in 2019 as the eight super regions in Europe and signed in control for more than 35% of Italian surplus trade balance. Next slide. At the same time, uh, the regional government was among the first in Europe to make the largest investment in, in high-performance computing, big data, and uh, artificial intelligence, with over 1 billion euros invested. The aim was then making the regional valley as one of the four European high-performance computing hubs focus on four main topics climate change, weather forecast, smart cities, and industry 4.0. The European Commission has two new exascale supercomputers that are located in the new big data technopole and will work in line with the other two already present here. Next slide, please. This richness in terms of high-performance computing and big data will then be made available to companies and will be used as a basis for the artificial intelligence needs of the local companies in implementing Industry 4.0 in all these application area. They develop, to, develop, to develop the skills needed by always innovating companies, more than 100 new training programs have been devised and they are already up and running in Emilia-Romagna universities, in particular in those of Bologna and Modena. Next slide, please. Particularly strong in Emilia-Romagna is the advanced mechanical and engineering sector, the real backbone of the regional production structure, which represents 75% of regional exports. Here, machines produce fully-fledged machines, robots, cobots, complex industrial automation systems, large plants for food production, food, and pharmaceutical packaging machines, machines for the building sector, or for producing ceramic tiles. Emilia Romagna is the first region in Italy. Italian 
ranking of more than 7,000 foreign companies. Next slide, please. Uh, so I was saying that more than 7,000 foreign companies and they are very diversified into size sector. Among the recent large investment, we can those announced by the Chinese automotive factory FAWV on luxury electric super cars. Follow American Philip Morris in the production of tobacco for ICOS technology throughout the integrated supply chain in agriculture and packaging. Amazon logistics or Medtronic in the biomedical sector. Next slide. The value option that Emilia Romagna uh, is offering and is relies mainly on four elements embedded in an innovative environment, the availability of facilities and infrastructure, the non-refundable incentives guaranteed by the regional government, and last but not least, the proactive attitude of the regional government that provides the company with its best human resource, full of business opportunity, the smart mobile in Motor Valley. Here you can find the value proposition for the automotive sector, the combination of electric vehicles at city on the basis of the pilot program Mazda driving technology in the smart city area. Next, please. Thank you, Mr. Sacerdoti. Now we go to the next Thank speaker from Lazio region, Federica Sano. She is the project manager at Internationalization Networks and Research Units for Lazio region. Mrs. Sano, welcome. Good afternoon to everybody. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you clearly. Okay. Uh, so my colleague Lucilla Mercuri and I would like to give you today an overview about Lazio region and its sectors of excellence. So the first slide, please. Lazio is the region of Rome and has a geopolitical position of global relevance. It is located in the heart of Europe and at the center of the Mediterranean area. Lazio has two international airports, Fiumicino and Ciampino, and four main ports, among them Civita Vecchia, which is the major Italian port for passenger transportation. Next slide, please. Lazio region has a great attractivity. It is the second Italian region for gross domestic product. And as for exports, Lazio moves more than twice as fast as Italy. It boosts one of the most important R&D system in Italy. Many industrial multinationals are located in the region and it has the highest level of manufacturing specialization in technology intensive sectors. Thanks to its 17, 17 universities, Lazio has also a high concentration of graduates and researchers in technical scientific subjects. Next, please. In Lazio, there are three major manufacturing sectors. On the top of this list, aerospace, security, and space economy. Lazio plays a significant international role in this industry with, a, with um, 5 billion euros turnover, and it is at the forefront in the, um, in the manufacturing industry, technological services, and R&D. In 2012, the Lazio Technological District for Aerospace was one of the founding partners of the Italian National Cluster. Next, please. As for the business environment, Lazio is the only Italian region which hosts the whole aerospace value chain. In Lazio are based big important international groups, but the 85% of the business landscape is made of SMEs, 
specialized in electronics, ICTs, and the production of components for Ariane and Vega launchers, satellite, radars, equipment for aircraft and helicopters. Next slide, please. Lazio region is also home of the Tiburtino Technology Park, which is part of Tecnopolo. Tecnopolo is a public company founded in 1995 with the aim of promoting and improving the location of high-tech and innovative initiatives. Also uh, thanks to its strong link with uh, universities and the research system. The park hosts over 100 companies, startups and research centers operating in ICT, electronics, telecommunications and aerospace and space economy. Next slide, please. Another excellence in Lazio for manufacturing is the life science sector. Lazio is the second Italian hub and one of the most important in Europe for life sciences industry with relevant international players and highly innovative SMEs linked to the National Public Research Network. Here you can read main indicators and main specializations for the sector, i.e. pharmaceuticals in innovative drugs and the trial of new vaccines. Lazio Health Tech Cluster is one of the founding members of Alisei, the Italian National Cluster for Life Sciences. Next, please. As for vaccines against COVID-19, Lazio has national and international players involved in this field of research. Sanofi, IRBM, which is collaborating with AstraZeneca and the University of Oxford, Reitera and Menarini. Moreover, the Spallanzani Public Hospital, based in Rome, is at the forefront in the fight against COVID-19. It was, in fact, one of the first research institutes to isolate the DNA sequence of coronavirus and is currently developing a vaccine with Reitera. Next, please. In Lazio, we have another technology park located south of Rome in Castel Romano. It is also part of the Tecnopolo public company. The main expertise areas of this tech park are advanced manufacturing, life sciences, new materials, and green economy. Takis, one of the biotechnology companies located at the Castel Romano Tech Park, is involved in the development of a COVID-19 vaccine in partnership with Rotta Farm. Next, please. Last but not least, the creative, cultural and digital industry. The main specializations of these regional excellence sectors are digital technologies as advanced immersive technology and augmented reality, the conservation and restoration of the archaeological heritage, the audiovisual and film industry, the video game industry, and so on. Lazio has also regional cultural technology district, which contributes to, to the development of this sector in synergy with the university system. Next, please. So please feel free to contact us for any further information at the um, contacts that you find on this slide. And uh, thank you very much for your kind attention. Thank you for your contribution, Mrs. Sano. We are discovering here from one region to other in Italy how many different and diversified fields to invest in whole country. Thank you so much. Now from heart of Italy, from the central region of Lazio, we go to seaside to Liguria region. In Liguria, we have Mr. Alberto Pellissone. He is the Business Development Consulship Department for Strategic and Economic Development responsible for Liguria region. Mr. Pellissone, welcome to our forum. Thank you very much for inviting us to the forum. Good afternoon to everybody. So I will start with this nice view of our location that uh, is a unique combination of the sea, the mountain, and you can appreciate the combination of the village, the town, and the ports. 
the next one, please. So we just summarize what is the key factors and the figures. We have uh, under the 36,000 business uh, active in the region. We are the first harbor system in Italy. We have a two ports authority. We have four main ports and we are the first uh, system in Italy for the uh, containers from the passenger. Really, we are the gate of the north of Italy and the gate of the southern Europe. We have a six, uh, 76 uh, uh, public uh, uh, location that is available for investment. We have uh, greenfield, brownfield uh, and offices. And uh, we are main concentrate in five strategic sectors. Economy of the sea, that is one of the main ones. The life science and the smart technologies tourism and leisure, and uh, research and innovation, of course. Uh, the specialization in, uh, we are specialized in the field of industry 4.0, in safety and, uh, in safety, logistic and transport, uh, uh, tourism, uh, cyber security and aerospace. The next one, please. So uh, we are one, the first Italian region for the mid-tech and high-tech industrial export. We have over 8,000 firms and uh, 51,000 employees in high-tech technologies. We have more than over 5,000 researchers in the region uh, that is working in 70 research infrastructure center. We have 15 departments from the University of Genova, and, uh, and also we have the first uh, uh, institute research center in Italy and Europe that uh, info, uh, is the Istituto Italiano of Technologies. Really, we can summarize that we have expertise in five uh, sectors, uh, the world sales and the retail trade and repair for motor vehicles and motorcycle. We have several different uh, manufacturing activities in ships, uh, gas turbine, yeah ships refitting uh, and steel mill. We supply of electric energy, gas steam and air conditioning equipment, transport and warehousing, of course, uh, due to the logistic of the ports and the construction. Next uh, slide, please. We are, with our ecosystem is based on five research and innovation center. And also we have one of the eight competence centers in Italy that uh, is focused on cybersecurity and the security for the critical infrastructures. We have one of the first main platform uh, collaboration platform that is called Innovazione Liguria that is make the ecosystem uh, working together and we have a good network for all the companies that is based in our region. We have uh, accessibility, highways, railways, airport, uh, and of course, the sea. We have uh, three uh, corridors, uh, three 10 t corridors that is uh, going through our region. And uh, we are also have a main project to reinforce uh, highway and uh, railways. And of course, uh, but not, uh, uh, is, is more important, we have high quality of life and the cultural excellence. Next one, please. So you can find uh, uh, all these uh, brief uh, key points that I've just explained. You have the contact, the website. We have the opportunity platform for the site and the location. We have the contact of the innovation polls. Uh, and also we have the uh, website of the innovative collaboration platform. The next one, please. So you can uh, have this contact, uh, you can contact us uh, anytime. We have uh, our reference and uh, thank you for the invitation and uh, good afternoon to everybody. Thank you very much, Mr. Uh, Pellissone. Now, next speaker we have from Lombardy region. Lombardy region is the region that suffered most from COVID-19. We hope everything very soon will be over. And Marco Fedato from uh, Department of uh, Head of Investment Promotion for Promos is with us. Mr. Fedato, welcome to our forum. 
We are Good afternoon. We are ready to hear you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, thanks for the invitation. Uh, good afternoon, everyone, on the behalf of Lombardy Region. Um, I hope you can hear me well. Um, I, I'll just share with you some, um, some slides. Uh, uh, as you said, it's, 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 it's a tough time to, uh, to share um, some, some... We're trying to, to share a glance of hope uh, with, with this, uh, with this uh, speech. Um, and it's tough, let me say, it's tough to, uh, to keep the attention high after this long list of uh, reasons to invest in Italy we have just heard. Uh, let me say very attractive from, from the very north to the very south. Um, I, I won't spend too much time on, on re remind uh, the audience of the importance of Lombardy uh, in terms of uh, um, business communities, in terms of companies, especially when it comes to manufacturing. Uh, we are the first uh, manufacturing region in Italy and, and among the leaders in Europe in, in, in several uh, sub-industries, as you see from, from this slide. Today, um, we, we, we share with you uh, a few uh, figures on, on, on what manufacture means for, for our region that we consider, of course, a getaway. Uh, for companies that want to invest and do business, not just here, but all, all across all across the country, not just for our position, but for the figures we, we, we're sharing with you. Uh, so we can go to the next slides, please. Um, when, when we um, describe uh, manufacture, um, definitely we, um, in, in Lombardy, uh, we, we have numbers um, that, that show the leadership uh, within the country, uh, but uh, not just uh, the country, as I said, but also uh, at European level. Uh, can we please uh, go to the next slide, please? Thank you. Um, today we have decided, uh, considering the strategic um, sectors identified by, by the regional government, to, to share with you a few figures about, in particular, aerospace and life science that are, among the others, uh, very strategic sectors at the moment in, in the regional uh, strategy. Uh, we have just mentioned some of the recent uh, projects uh, that the region has, has attracted. Keep in mind that in the last three years, from, from since 2017, uh, the region itself has attracted uh, about 200 new projects. and. Uh, uh, keep this in particular in mind that more than 30% of those projects were related to um, manufacturing functions, which uh, means that the region is, uh, in particular, a, a getaway of attraction for companies that want to uh, manufacture in, in our region, uh, which is, of course, very much innovative manufacturing, uh, especially recently. Please, we can... We can uh, go to the next slides. Thank you. Uh, this is a way for us to uh, share with you uh, the way we want to make uh, companies comfortable within our region uh, um, without trying to be uh, exhaustive in this uh, in these slides. We have tried to identify just 10 of the most relevant hubs of uh, innovation for manufacturing uh, nowadays in, in Lombardy, we know there are many others, but this was the way for us uh, to show uh, how many points of attention, strategic points of attention you can find in our, in our regions when it comes to manufacturing. We have uh, that, that, that which one point in, of, of importance for you is to understand that the territory or the overall territory, uh, which is made by 12 provinces, so Milan plus other 11 provinces, uh, is where actually you find the opportunities. So all across the territory, a dense network of, of uh, incubators, of uh, scientific parks, of innovation parks, uh, without mentioning the, the, the 12 universities. This is the way we uh, know and we see day by day companies developing their project with the help of the institution, but in particular with the help of all those um, innovation hubs Within, within the region. Please, we can go to the next slide uh, in which we, we, we wanted to, to again, uh, 
to, to show you uh, the way we do uh, investment attraction in Lombardy and the way we can help your companies. Uh, since we have uh, a relevant number, I would say an outstanding number of, of industrial districts all across the region, what we are doing is to identify opportunities, concrete opportunities for companies, both on those innovations hubs that I've shown you uh, right before and in the single municipalities all across the territory. So here we're just sharing with you some example, 50 examples of opportunities that, that we have mapped available nowadays, uh, ready to use for companies in manufacturing in all the different uh, districts of specialization within the industry of the Lombard. Can we go to the last slide, please? Uh, just one final word of what we are doing uh, and, and how we see uh, from the results, the effect of our activity. We have uh, supported more than 200 companies in the last three years. Manufacture, as I said, was more than 30% of the investment projects um, finalized within the region in the last uh, uh, three years. This meaning that we are still attractive no matter the current situations. Of course, the, the way we do, um, the way we have to do to be more attractive nowadays is to, is to switch towards more and more towards to an innovation based manufacturing, which is one of the main goal of the region. Uh, thanks again for your attention. We will definitely be very, very pleased to receive your request and supporting you uh, in the upcoming days, weeks. Uh, looking forward to a 2021 with less pandemic and more hope for, for everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Fedato, and we wish you and to all Lombardy good luck. And I hope in next year we will find each other in the better situation for COVID-19. So let's go now to Marche region. There will be Professor Massimo Calegari for us. Buon pomeriggio, professore. <laughs> And he is the <laughs> professor at Polytechnic University of Marche. He is also scientific director of iLabs. Professor Alei. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I hope you can hear me clearly. And uh, we can pass to the next slide, please. Uh, let's start with a quick look at the map just to see where the region Marche is. You can see it's in the central part of Italy, but uh, this is a strategic, strategic position not only for Italy, but also for the Balkanic uh, area, since uh, it's on the Adriatic Sea and it's often called a uh, gateway to the, to the east. We, we also have uh, um, good infrastructures and connections. And, uh, you uh, can see from the list uh, that there is an international airport, uh, also an important uh, touristic and commercial port. And uh, the region is uh, crossed by the Adriatic Highway from now to south. To south. And uh, also there is uh, a, an important uh, uh, railway network. Uh, coming to the territory, it is very nice. It is characterized by, not only by the sea, but also by hills, by small villages, by culture. And, and the quality of life is uh, among the best in Italy. So that is why uh, recently it is attracting more and more people settling down in market from North Europe and uh, East Europe. But coming to the business, the region also uh, offers uh, uh, incentives and fundings for firms wanting to settle down here. Uh, there are uh, incentives uh, coming from the areas of uh, economic crisis. Uh, no, uh, okay. But also um, uh, loans or tax discounts for specific projects. The uh, business environment is very lively. It is characterized by dynamic uh, small and medium enterprises. And uh, the ecosystem is characterized by growing key performance indicators, like the, uh, for instance, uh, domestic uh, gross domestic product or the export or the R&D expenditure. 
uh, you can see on the right of uh, the picture the main industrial sectors of Mark. I don't have the time to, to list them. In the region, there are two centers uh, for technological transfer and certification. Uh, one, Mechano for mechanics and plastics, uh, the other one, uh, Cosmo for furniture and housing systems. And there are as well four technological clusters which arose uh, around the smart specialization strategy. Uh, one, one cluster for food and farming, and another cluster for the ambient assisted living. The third one is about the Made in Italy, and the last one for manufacturing. Next slide, please. There is also a solid network of uh, research and development infrastructures. Uh, first of all, the universities. We have uh, four universities in the territory. Uh, the biggest one uh, is the Polytechnic University of Marche in Ancona. Uh, then we have the, the University of Macerata, which is the oldest one. It was founded in the 13th century. And in the end, the universities of Camerino and Urbino, which are located in the beautiful historical cities. Such universities cover all the most important technical, humanistic, and biomedical disciplines. But we also have four technological platforms uh, that uh, help uh, industries to get in touch with the most advanced technologies and to innovate their uh, business processes. Uh, the oldest one is the Industry 4.0 platform, which aims at speeding up the introduction of uh, such paradigm in the industries. Then we have uh, another technological platform about uh, smart living and home automation. And uh, then we have also a platform on personalized medicine and biobank, and the last one about new materials and sustainable manufacturing. The region is also an order of the competence center, uh, Artes 4.0, about collaborative robotics. You can see in the last slide, uh, iLabs. I am the coordinator of the iLabs. <clears throat> Uh, which is an infrastructure that has been born within the technological platform Industry 4.0 and has the mission to allow firms to test the technology before investing and uh, to get uh, advanced training uh, through hands-on projects uh, and through specialized lectures. Uh, of course, the firms can also develop a joint uh, project with the universities and to participate to collaborative projects uh, and to uh, grants uh, both at the regional, national, or European uh, levels. And it's also a demo point for uh, the suppliers. The enabling technologies that are present in the laboratory are uh, collaborative robotics, uh, data mining uh, and analytics, uh, and uh, industrial Internet of Things, cyber physical systems and cyber security, uh, traceability with a prototyping for human centered manufacturing. The last slide, please. Uh, I conclude my, my talk. I just want to thank you. And uh, if you have uh, questions, you can address these uh, contact files. Thank you. Thank you very much thank to very much. Professor Calegari. And we go to Piedmont region now. Mrs. Giulia Marcon is waiting for us. Mrs. Marcon, welcome. And she is the head of the International Affairs and Decentralized Cooperation Department of Piedmont Region. Signora Marcon, can you hear me? Can you own your microphone? Can you speak, please? We cannot hear you now. Cerchiamo di ripristinare l'audio con la signora Marcon. Riesce a sentirci? Sì. 
Signora Marcon, può, può accendere il microfono, per favore? Il microfono? Se mi sente, può accendere il microfono, per favore? Signora Marcon? Abbiamo un problema tecnico. Con il rappresentante della regione Piemonte. Mrs. Marcon, can you hear me? Aspettiamo di ripristinare audio. Nel frattempo passiamo al... We go to next speaker. We had some technical problem with the microphone of Mrs. Marcon. We go to next speaker while Mrs. Marcon is preparing her microphone. We are in Sicily region now. In Sicily, Mr. Francesco Pinelli is with us. Mr. Pinelli, welcome to our forum. Mr. Pinelli is a Scalia Regional Innovation Hub, executive of the Sicilian region, responsible for the implementation of the Smart Specialization Strategy S3 Sicily. Am I right? Yes, right. Can you hear me? Yes, we can clearly hear you. Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you, first of all, for this invitation, for the opportunity to contribute to this important uh, international uh, event. I'm, uh, I'm going to present a, a project named Sicalia, <clears throat> which means you, we can show the slides. Not the first, please. The first slide, the previous slide, yes, okay. So the uh, the the Sicalia project, uh, which means uh, <clears throat> Sicily for innovation and knowledge at a European and international level through our artificial intelligence and enabling digital technologies and system 4.0. It's, it's a big uh, title, name. I actually uh, like to start showing you the picture of the Etna uh, volcano that is in Sicily, because we believe that this project will have a big impact on the regional economy and the benefits is spread even outside the region in terms of uh, contribution to the process of, of innovation. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, the objective of the is, is to create a, a digital innovation hub uh, able to bring together all the key players privately in the field of technologies, ICT, information techno uh, communication technologies, uh, in order to support small and medium enterprises, uh, large companies, uh, start-up, as well as uh, um, research centers and uh, uh, government itself, and help them to move their activity, business, to more, move their research toward innovation. Um, the support will be provided uh, there, there will be provided for kind of support, uh, test before invest, support to find investment, skills and training, innovation ecosystem and networking in coherence with the digital uh, Europe program. The location will, uh, will be in uh, the two main towns in Sicily, Catania and Palermo, but of course the support will be provided um, line, of course. Then you go to the next. Um, thanks to the initiative of the regional government and especially the Commissioner for Economic uh, Development, uh, Dr. Furano, we have um, a partnership, uh, um, a network of 85 uh, key players, uh, which are listed in, the, in the, that graph on the right side of the of the um, slide, 
So there are enterprises, uh, research centers, uh, technological districts, and coming from uh, from all the, the, the nine towns uh, of, of Sicily. And in the left uh, hand side of the slide, we have the, 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 the key players, the leader players, which are Parco Scientifico and Tecnologico della Sicilia, which is a regional consortium to support scientific and technological research in Sicily. Artes 4.0, which is the national uh, competence center on advanced robotics and enabling digital technologies, which has a strong uh, association with uh, large companies in, in Sicily, and also the four regional universities and uh, uh, another regional uh, educating and training center. So the, the next, next slide, please. The, the, What's the advantage of having a digital hub? Basically, it's going to be a, a, an access point to innovation and business uh, of the region, which is connected with all the, the land, and also an access point to regional policies, because the hub will be very strongly connected with the regional uh, uh, programs and innovation and economic growth. Also, we like to say that Sicily must be the place to invest because it's a land where innovation springs from three millennia of history. This is for us very important because innovation is not only a, a, a matter of technical competence. You, if you have a, 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 a cultural um, a background is important, to find solutions to best apply for uh, technologies to, to solve problems of, of, of real life. So, uh, finally, I'd like to remind the next slide, please, that the region Sicily has a, a, a smart specialization strategy, which has identified the six main areas which are agri-food, tourism, heritage, life science, smart cities and communities, energy, and blue growth. So I think my time is over. So thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, Mr. Pinelli from Sicily region. And we go back now to Ms. Giulia Marcon from Piedmont region. Yes, here I am. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you very clearly. Thank you. <laughs> okay, we can go to our presentation. And uh, I was thanking the World Manufacturing Week and uh, this workshop organizers to give us the opportunity to briefly introduce to Piemonte and also to be able to pick up uh, from uh, the previous connection we didn't, uh, didn't make. Um, Function. And so we can now share the competencies in Piemonte Advanced Manufacturing Centers. Next, please. And uh, here you have some key facts and figures about our population 4.4 million. But I would like to attract your attention on uh, some key figures about our GDP, which is almost in line. Uh, together with the, our pers the percentage we represent uh, in the Italian panorama about uh, population, GDP and companies, we have almost the same rate. But if you look at export, uh, our region has a better performance than uh, the normal positioning among uh, Italian regions. So this is the reason why Piemonte ranks fourth in Italy uh, for export quota. Next, please. We have uh, also some uh, location advantages owing to the fact uh, that we are connected uh, and strictly to the French uh, and the Swiss border. Uh, we have uh, a near international airport. The number of flights you see obviously is the previous to the pandemic uh, year we are uh, in this moment. But uh, as our colleague from Lombardy region already said, we all bought we all hope that 2020 now will allow us to, to recover. 
the city of Torino is located at uh, 150 kilometers far from the port of Genova, but as well 100 kilometers far from the port of Savona, and is 50 minutes by uh, far from uh, Milano Malpensa Intercontinental Airport. So this is a central position, as already other colleagues uh, from uh, Northern Region uh, illustrated. Next, please. And uh, being today at the World Manufacturing Week, we would like to focus on uh, three sectors, which are among our excellencies, but are also, especially if we speak of automotive and transportation, the sectors uh, for what, which uh, Piemonte and Torino are known uh, all over the world. Uh, next, uh, please. Here you have uh, some key uh, facts uh, about what automotive and transportation sector in general represent in our region. We have over 1,000 companies from the big, big ones, uh, uh, FCA among them, to very, very small ones, but some of them very innovative. We have almost 94,000 employees with a turnover of uh, 19 billions. And what is very important, also about the fact I was stressing before, that all 50% uh, of the turnover of this sector comes from foreign markets. It's a very uh, export-intensive sector for our region. Uh, and innovation is one of the key drivers that leads uh, this exportation with uh, predicted driving, autonomous driving, and also the, all the innovation that is going through the mobility sector from hybrid propulsion to safety, mobility, uh, comfort, health, but also in energy, energy efficiency and also the hydrogen railway engine, which is under uh, research at the center of some uh, interesting researches here in the region. Uh, just to give the possibility for two people to meet uh, uh, all these uh, uh, scenario and uh, the protagonists, uh, the actors of this scenario, we organize, next please, uh, started to organize a business convention because we realized that when people have the opportunity to come and see, to meet uh, the, the actors of these sectors, they understand which is the environment, which is uh, uh, the habit, the environment that where they can come and settle. And uh, this is why we launched the last September uh, a intermediate step uh, between the first and the second edition of our business convention, uh, just because we wanted to have a thinking tank about exactly the changements that uh, the pandemic is uh, taking into these sectors. And uh, we wanted to launch also a glance at a hope, uh, as it was said before, because uh, a new scenario can also be a driving force uh, to changement. So uh, it has also to be considered in this perspective. And uh, we had a digital vision while uh, on the third, on, in March, we will have the second edition. We hope uh, it will be a physical one, but for sure, it will be also a virtual possibility to share and to know most, more about uh, Piemonte. Uh, next, please. Uh, the other sector we wanted to focus, as uh, some colleagues of other regions uh, did before, because Italy is an aerospace uh, country, and in this country there are different aerospace regions, and Piemonte is uh, one of them with an aerospace cluster, 280 companies, and uh, a turnover of about 4 million with uh, 14,800 employees and represent the 70% of the national export in this sector. 26% of these exports is important to underline is directed to the USA, 
because there are large uh, cooperations between companies in Italy, especially space, and uh, the American companies. And it's not, it's not by chance that uh, the latest uh, uh, new entries we had in our region are in this sector, and many of them work in the, uh, in the space sector. And Smart this is because uh, in, uh, in Piemont, uh, there are many innovation paths, uh, such as uh, the team of satellites and uh, the team of uh, aerospace propulsion, the defense and vehicle system. Just to, to mention some, the list is bigger, but uh, I know that uh, we are almost finished our time and I don't want to, to have too much. So this is... Next, please. Our time. And Mrs. Is... Marcon, can you hear me? Unfortunately, we don't have more time. Would you please conclude your presentation? Yes. And I will just uh, introduce the possibility of our new, to give you the possibility that you, all the participants will have the possibility to go through the whole presentation and see that we are working on a manufacturing competence center. A, Manufacturing Technology Center, and last but not least, the new city of aerospace. And so I think that this was just to give you a glance and uh, concluding and be also the last one, especially after this long series of intervention, I would like to launch a, a glance of hope uh, because uh, I have to say that uh, after the first phase of the pandemic, we don't have time. I've been in contact with many, many companies. Thank, Thank you, you so much for your presentation. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mrs. Marcon, for your presentation. And with the Piedmont region, we conclude this panel. And if you have any question, you can send your emails to the email address then you see on the screen, partneriato.ide uh, at ice.it, partneriato.ide at ice.it. Many thanks again to all participants. We understood very clearly in every region in Italy, Again, tough times, there are still many opportunities to invest in many, many different fields.